Welcome back. Good news for shoppers. Tomorrow starts a back to school sales tax holiday. The tax holiday, which will last through August 6th, will allow shoppers to shop for clothes, sh uh, shoes, school supplies and personal computers all tax free. We like the sound of that. NBC 6's Chris Anderson has more on how to get some of the best deals. As the calendar inches closer to the start of a new school year, parents are busy helping their children get ready by stocking up on school supplies. And good news when it comes to prices. You might be paying a little bit more compared to a couple years ago. Compared to last year, we're seeing things that are about the same. So like last year, the deals are there. You're just going to have to work a little harder to find them. Gordon says as tempting as it is to get everything at one store, it's not the best strategy when it comes to saving money. Price comparison is a really important step in shopping if you're looking to save money. So knowing what the different retailers are selling items for can really help you. That's why it's best to have a game plan in place before you start your back to school shopping. Compare prices at the different stores online and check out the ads for in-store specials. And now is a great time to save even more. The tax-free period, which runs through August 6th, does include things like learning aids and school supplies, as well as clothing. And if you, if you do need to buy a laptop, that tax-free applies to anything up to $1,500. Also, before you buy that laptop, check with your child's school first because they may be able to provide you one for free. And that's obviously going to save you big bucks. Here's some important information about the two week sales tax holiday for back to school. No sales tax is going to be collected on clothing, footwear and certain accessories, but they have to cost $100 or less. So some of those high priced sneakers or designer clothing, they're not going to qualify for the tax break. Also, certain school supplies that have a $50 or less per item price tag, they will be tax-free, as will learning aids and jigsaw puzzles that cost $30 or less. Finally, the big ticket item, we just talked about it a little bit, PCs, laptops, monitors, and other computer-related accessories, they have to be $1,500 or less. But if you spend $1,500 on a computer with no tax, it's going to save you about 100 bucks. Now, if money is a concern, there is another good option. You can also consider not buying everything on the list before school starts. A lot of these things aren't going to be needed on the first day, in the first week, or even in the first month. If you wait, you're obviously going to miss out on the tax holiday. But stores also tend to start dropping prices on school supplies once the school year begins. So you may be able to make up that difference and snag a good deal on those items if you don't buy them right away. I'm Chris Anderson. Hope this helps you save some money. Back over to you.